hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel sit at home finally have gotten attention of not just the Ndibos, but prominent Nigerians as a whole. Uh, some days back, the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra gave a mandate uh, that um, most, uh, if not all, uh, uh, flags, Nigerian flags, should be brought down that was hoisted. And they also insisted that they should be sit at home, you know, for, to commensurate with the independence, Nigerian sister wants independence. Looks as if it was almost 100% compliance, as everybody seemed to be afraid to come out because life is only one. Fast forward, there seemed to be so much reaction. Senate uh, speaker is, is talking about it. The Senate speaker, that's the House of Representatives, is talking about it. Even our lustrous daughters are also talking about it. Some are for some are definitely against we're going to take cross section of all of this from into one so we're going to have two uh, different opinions or two different news put into one all on the same issue but before we do that we like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube we're going to start with what uh femi bajabamela has to say they look at what genevieve said and what the indibos are saying a special group of Indibus are saying concerning what is going on in Southeast. Well, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Representative that's Femi Bajabiamela, has called on Nigerians to be more united for the common purpose of building a country that meets the best expectations of all Nigerians. Citing the well known Offerism, united we stand and divided we fall. Bajabiamela said, Unity is priceless urging every Nigerian to drop their sentiment and work together for a better nation. In a message marking the Nigerian sister first independence anniversary, the speaker re-echoed the fact that Nigeria is the only country we can call our own, noting that, as far as I am concerned, there is no country on earth like Nigeria, and I know every patriotic Nigerian holds this view. He added that Nigerians must all work together to fulfill the dream of a nation of peaceful coexistence and abandon, abandon or, or rather abundant prosperity. He said in the past 60, 61 years, Nigeria has grown and developed beyond imagination. Though he recognized the fact that we still have significant challenges, we must overcome together. Speaker Agbaja Mbela said Nigerian leaders were doing their best to see an end to the challenges facing Nigeria, especially the insecurity across the country. My brother, the best is not good enough for we need it to fact expedite action so that Nigerians will not live in despair and hopelessness. Let's continue with the news. He noted that such efforts required the support of all Nigerians all citizens, irrespective of political affiliations. The Speaker reassured Nigerians that the Ninth Assembly would always give the necessary legis legislative interventions to other arms of government to smoothen the tax of governors. Some other Nigerians may actually hold a different opinion. But very quickly, our very own beautiful actress Genevieve Naji has her own opinion for the first time. She's speaking over this issue of Biafra exit and Nigeria as a country. And this is what she has to say. She took to her, her social, very fast social media handle to say this. She said, takes, she said, it takes heart to be a Nigerian. Mm. Nigeria is not you. You are Nigeria. Be the reason they speak good about us wherever you go. Happy independence to you in particular. So he's talking to every Nigerian out there. Say, come on. Make Nigeria great. Let it be that it's because of you they're speaking good of Nigeria and not the other way around. And of course, the well-meaning Igbo conscience group have decided to speak. And what they're asking for will definitely not go down well with the indigenous people of Biafra. The Igbo conscience, that's the Indibo, the Igbo conscience, that's TIC, has asked the federal government to declare a state of emergency in Southeast. In a statement, the group lamented the bringing down of Chiki Akunyeli, saying Igbo citizens are being brought down in their numbers while businesses are being destroyed. The group alleged that despite asking the Igbo to speak against the menace, most of them have continued to shy away from condemning this self-destructive dastardly act. The group also accused religious leaders of being active participants in the atrocities that has overwhelmed Igbo land instead of being agents of peace.
This is just a tip of what is happening in the five southeastern zones, southeastern states in the zone presently, and it has been a re reoccurring picture since the indigenous people of Biafra launched an armed warfare against the region, the group said. Today, the southeast is under, under destructive siege launched by its people in the name of actualizing Biafra. TIC notes that when this inclination to start the menace started in Igbo land, many Igbos lent their support covertly and overtly to this evil. We note that when the government moved to stop this evil, this evil started a negative campaign against the federal government, terming it as, as genocide against the Igbos. TIC notes also that given that complexity, complexity and active support in grooming the monster ravaging Igbo land today, most of the governors in South East have waxed impotent in rising to the challenge of dealing with this issue. There seems to be no remedy in sight as the people have surrendered to the bestiality of these men that have taken over Igbo land today. Given these concerns, therefore, we demand the following, that the federal government consider the option of declaring a state of emergency in the Southeast or at least some states of Southeast to arrest this situation and anarchy in southeastern zone that the federal government draft more security forces and agencies to the southeast to save the people from themselves that the federal government identify arrest prosecute any person group interest and organization found to actively procure support and facilitate the state of anarchy presently radicaling the southeast the group expressed hope that the federal government will attend to its demands before the region goes into extinction I won't, I won't lie to you. I don't know who this Igbo conscience group are. I'm just saying my mind. At that Igbo conscience group. Maybe they're existing. I don't know. No, in Nigeria, anything is possible. If all the way from, from Nigeria, they went down to New York in United States and there was a pro, a, a pro Buari group that was created. Some of them were just carrying placards. They don't even know what they were carrying. For some of them said, uh, they just told them, you know, they should just carry the thing because they are all Africans. They just feel that it uh, was like a, 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 fake, a quick one, a quick money for them to earn. So I don't know. Maybe they are existing. No, I'm not saying they're not existing, but I, I honestly, after, I, don't know, I don't know about them. But they said something unique. They said they are the ones saying, asking the federal government to declare state of like emergency in South East. If that is declared, it means temporarily. <laughs> it is not a military zone. It means there's some things you cannot do. You can do another state and get away with it. In that state, the military takes full control. Uh, if they are shouting that issues are happening, this one will not be, you know, I, at the beginning, when this issue of b b flags coming down, I, I, we mention, I mentioned it at some point, that if that happens, there may be need for people to want to go down there, the military to go down there and put things into perspective. I just hope, but this time around, this group is coming up saying that the federal government should actually do it and do it very quickly. And our very own uh, Genevieve, beautiful Genevieve, you've seen what she said. She didn't she just only said, look, let's let's make nigeria proud let it be that it's because of you people are saying something good about nigeria let's put in a conversation please no hate words we're all in touch